What is up, YouTube? This is Black Bigot coming to you live at a location unknown in Bryan, Texas. So currently, I am at the cemetery here in Bryan, Texas, the largest one here in town. As you can see, there is quite a large amount of graves out here, I would say. Got to be sitting on about 30 acres here, at least. Probably 60 acres. Anyways... So I'm just here. Uh, there's always something odd that I do wherever I go. Um, whatever city I travel to. I always go back to uh, where I've been. Kind of like a boomerang when you throw a boomerang. Supposedly, if you're a good thrower of a boomerang, it always comes back to you. So I always come back here because there is a bird feeder that I always got to come back and refill. Uh, it looks like I'm probably the last guy that has refilled it. So the birds haven't been coming through here. So I'm going to go feed the, I'm going to go refill this bird feeder. So uh, that'll make me feel a little bit uh, better about the birds, right? Okay, it is full. Uh, now the birds will have something to eat for a while, even after I am gone out of this area. That guy uh, was pretty young. So anyway, something uh, embarrassing happened to me at Walmart today for the first time ever. I committed a sin, a uh, travesty if you will, against uh, a local Walmart bathroom. I overflowed the toilet. Now, before you guys start w wondering about my bathroom habits and how many times it actually takes for me to wipe my own ass, I will say this, I only wiped twice and it still overflowed and I didn't use a shit ton of uh, shit paper. By the way, isn't it still kind of weird how we just like you know, we, we've evolved into this uh, species of intelligent human beings for the most part, but we still wipe our ass with wads of paper. Anyways, the, the toilet overflowed, and there was a plunger right there, and I'm like, I didn't do anything, man. I'm, I'm innocent. I'm innocent. And then I go to grab the plunger, and I start plunging, and then I hear somebody come in, so I stop because I get nervous. And I'm like, and so I don't want to plunge because this guy's going to think I'm a fucking creep because I'm overflowing the toilet. So I stopped plunging, and then I couldn't plunge hard enough because I was too nervous for them to hear me. So uh, I ended up not plunging the toilet at all, um, uh, which was kind of funny because uh, 20 minutes later, they called on a loudspeaker of maintenance uh, to the front of the men's bathroom. <laughs> oh, guys, it wasn't my fault. I'm sorry. Anyways, about that, um, yeah. So anyway, so I got some new mirrors for my scooter because uh you know what i want to do guys since i'm not working right now you know it's about time for me to jump on my scooter and take that little trip uh i'm actually heading down to houston tomorrow so uh if you're uh if you're in the houston area and you want to have a beer with me hit me up 214-983-8696 214-983-8696 let me know so anyways, this Logan Paul shit still has not died yet. Everyone is still talking about it. Still talking about Logan Paul, right? And here, here's my thing about Logan Paul. Who gives a crap? Who gives a crap if Logan Paul showed a dead body? I still don't know what the big fucking deal is yeah it was in poor taste sure he used poor judgment but i just i understand backlash right i understand there's got to be some backlash but what i don't understand is the amount of backlash that he's got who gives a shit if he showed a dead body at the end of the day Whoever watches this channel, you're just a bunch of fucking nerds. He's a fucking nerd himself, but he's a rich nerd. And let it be known, he did it. Who gives a fuck? Move on with your fucking gasket ass lives. Your pathetic, no, nothing, no, doing nothing lives. That's it. That's all you got to do. Just, just settle the fuck down with this fucking nonsense already. You know what I'm saying? So yesterday I went to the plasma place out in Bryan here 
and I sold my plaza, made 50 bucks. That's cool. I'm going to go back tomorrow, make another 50 bucks, and then I'll have $100 set aside for gas money. Uh, I'm going to go down to Houston. I might also check out Galveston, see if there's anything to show you guys when I go down there. Um, I'm not going to lie. Currently, right now, I am unemployed and going kind of uh, knucking futz, if you will. Uh, I Every time I quit a job and I leave an area, I always get kind of depressed and down in the dumps. I don't know why I do that, but right now I'm just kind of like, bleh. I don't really feel like doing much. I barely feel like going to the gym. And Brian's so fucking boring out here. Uh, there's really not much to do. So I'm just going to go... Uh, just gonna go tomorrow, make another 50 bucks, gas up the van, and uh, head on down to Houston. Uh, I might try to find like a day labor job. I've already talked to somebody right there, so maybe I'll do day labor for a couple days. Maybe I'll head to Galveston. Maybe I'll head to Louisiana. I'm really not sure where I'm going, guys. Uh, I'm still planning on going up north, but for right now, I have absolutely no idea where I'm going. Hey, you guys like that, that I stopped the video? See, I was over there, and now, I'm over here. <laughs> Anyways, um, this is the kind of shit that you do when you're homeless. Uh, you eat soup in front of gas stations hiding in the corner while drinking little bottles of alcohol. Now, if I can just... If I can just hold this camera like... Like that view right there. Ah, -hoo -hoo. All right, guys, that was like a quick little homeless vlog a day in the life of Black Bigot. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Now, if you excuse me, I'm gotta go. Um, gotta go take a take a you know what. Peace out, guys. Later. <laughs> wow, I look really bummy right here. Look at the back of my eyes. This is great. I really like this view. I can do this more often.